In this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about how to paint a female bust from life. So this image that you're seeing in Photoshop, that's actually not there. I only put that there so that you can see what I'm painting. So I'm actually just looking at a bust from life and painting that in Photoshop. And in a little bit, you'll see a little picture in picture video pop up of me painting so that you can see the bust and um, so yeah, so I'm painting in uh, CS3 and my document is 300 dpi and I'm just going to start out by painting the or drawing the line drawing of the bust and this is the same technique that I would use if I was painting in oils or any other traditional media. The first thing you want to do is block in your shape. So I just started with the neck because that's the easiest area to start from for me. I usually start from the head and work my way down. And I'm working down both sides of the body simultaneously. So it may seem like I'm drawing a little more slowly in this tutorial, but it's actually just because I have to keep looking up at the model and then looking back down at Photoshop. So for the shoulder, a lot of times I'll draw the top outside edge and then I'll imagine like a circular shape for the deltoid and that'll kind of give me an estimation of where I should draw the bottom of the arm or the armpit. So you can see down below me painting from life. It's actually kind of a bad video because it looks super blown out and really orange but the photograph on the upper left is more accurate as to what I'm actually seeing. So it's a little too big, so I'm just going to do Control T and uh, make it a little bit smaller. I know a lot of people have trouble painting figures, so one thing that might help is just by changing the way you think about it. So when I'm drawing a figure, I don't really think too much about I'm painting a person, but rather I'm painting individual shapes. So if you break down the parts into shapes and think of them that way, it might help you um, do your painting more easily instead of being so worried about painting a human. Because when you think about it, everything is just made up of shapes, so you could be painting anything. So right now I'm not really thinking of this as like the rib cage and the stomach. I'm just seeing them as individual lines and I'm just trying to recreate those lines based on what I'm seeing. So her back was going in a little bit too much. I need to make it a little bit wider so I just erase that out and I'm redrawing that. So this is the stage where you can really try and get your drawing correct so that you don't have to make as many changes later on. So again, I'm just thinking of this as a bunch of shapes and how each shape is related to the other in terms of angle and position. And as I mentioned before in some of my other tutorials, I'm painting with more straight edges instead of curved edges just because I just like to draw that way and it usually seems to yield better results I think but it's all up to the individual artist. Now I'm going to go inside the body and start mapping out some of the landmarks like the nipples and then the base of the neck. Now I'm not really going to mark out too many shadow areas just because I'm just going to paint those in with value instead of mapping them out ahead of time. So again up here on the shoulder I'm just correcting the shape because it was a little too small. And you saw on the bottom I was holding up my pencil trying to or my stylus trying to get the angles correct
So now I'm going in over here and just marking in where the abs should be and the belly button. And that's it for the line drawing. Um, I'll continue on with the value in the next video.